Hi, I'm Richard Francis. We're filming a video on how to run a marathon. We just covered nutrition. Now we're going to cover what to do on race day. You've made it to the start line. You've put in the proper training physically for the event. Now what? Well, most people get to the start of the marathon if it's their first one with a little bit of anxiety. That's totally normal. Don't worry about that. Um, the excitement that you'll have when the gun goes off will consume you and you'll forget about any anxieties you had. At race day, make sure you arrive early. The night before, make sure you lay out a checklist of all the items you're going to need to bring, including your race bib number and the chip you're probably given to for the race timing. A lot of the marathons these days have electronic, uh, chip, trekking, uh, electronic chip technology that allow you uh, to monitor your times and your finish time just by running across a mat. So you're going to need to attach that chip probably to your running shoe if it's not included in your bib number. Uh, most likely it'll be on your running shoe. So make sure all of that's taken, taken care of the night before. The rest of it is all mental. As a matter of fact, I would say probably 90% of getting to a finish line is mental. Um, biggest thing to remember on race day. Don't try anything you haven't tried during training, especially nutrition-wise. Don't put on a pair of brand new running shoes. Use the ones you've been using in training. And make sure you've got the right amount of preparation going into this, this race in terms of what you'll need. Now, that includes creams like Vaseline because you're going to have a lot of chafing doing 26 miles. You're going to want to put it on areas that might rub. For example, elbows might rub against your, your side. Um, between your thighs may rub. Use that cream to prevent chafing. You're going to need it on the course. Actually, a lot of marathons hand out Vaseline throughout the course if you get uh, rubbing like that. Uh, other thing to remember, you've already put in the proper training, so you're good there. For, for uh, sports drinks, make sure you've tried one of the sports drinks that their sponsor, uh, the sponsoring organization um, is providing. So make sure you've tried it before. If not, try to bring your own. During the race, try to get there very early. Start with a pace group that you're accustomed to. That'll really help you get through the marathon. Um, if there's not a pace group, for example, eight minute, nine minute, or 10 minute mile group, if that's your, if that's your pace group, if you can't find one around there, try to ask some people around where you are what pace they plan on running the marathon. And if you can find some people that are about the same pace as you, stick with them. If you can't find a group, then that'll help you get through the event as well, engaging your pace with them, especially if this is your first one. Having somebody help pace you is probably the best way to get to the finish line uh, without getting too, too exhausted. Now, yeah, we're talking about 26.2 miles. Maybe you've done the 26 miles beforehand in training. Maybe you haven't. Maybe you only trained up to 20 miles. That's okay. Those last six miles, they're going to be tough. There's no question about it. But the excitement around you, the fans, the amount of people, that will get you to the finish line alone. It's really hard to describe the feeling of the event and crossing of the finish line in words. You got to be there to experience it. It's unbelievable. Uh, the main thing to remember is just to have fun. Remember why you're there. Relax those shoulders, relax the arms, you know, have a lot of fun getting to the finish line. It's a test, it's a challenge mentally and physically, but it's probably one of the most enjoyable journeys uh, to personal accomplishment that I've ever experienced. And seeing other people experience that is really amazing. And I really, I really think that if you try to do, you do your first one, you get to the finish line, you'll probably end up doing a lot more. Uh, that's the basis for our company, LVS Health Innovations. We know that these events are enjoyable, they're family oriented, they're just a lot of fun. And we know that people come back and do them again because they've had so much fun. So I hope you get to the finish line, enjoy it, and come back for more. And I hope the advice I've provided you here has helped you prepare for a marathon and helped you get to other ones down the road. Thank you. To watch the other segments in this video series or for how-to videos on almost any other topic, visit monkeyseed.com.